going on guys? I'm back with another episode on Bassing with Sasha. I've bought new waders. Finally. How about we get right into it and we look inside and see what I've got. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Okay, let's see what I've got. Okay, it comes nicely packaged. So guys, I've actually, now I bought the, the neoprene ones. Oh man, this is actually... Oops. Okay, so I've got the neoprene ones with the boots. That's what the guys recommended at the fishing shop. Let's see what I got ya. Sorry, let me just put you guys down so I can actually do this with two hands. Okay, let's just straighten you guys out here. There we go. Okay, let's take it apart. Let's actually move this table. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need this packet either. Okay, so looks like it comes with a little repair kit, a little bit of glue. I needed this the last time I had a hole in my waders. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like they look intact. Okay, so I've got the ones with the boots. Um, the guys did recommend that uh, you need to have one size bigger. So I'm actually a size A2. I had to buy a size, what's this, a size 9, so comes with the usual straps as my old ones did, you know it's actually quite nice, it's got like little little sticky pads here, so your, your uh, what do you call these, your ties don't fall off. Uh, it comes with little knee pads, the reason for that is, I actually have no bloody clue what the reason is. Uh, so the reason why I got the neoprene ones is so that um, when I'm fishing in winter, it's a little bit warmer than just the thin nylon ones, you know, and in summer, most dams aren't particularly warm, but you want to be comfortable, I think. What I'll do is I'll actually try and put these on. Let's quickly put them on. I hope they fit. Uh, also, I'll have to go back to the shop and actually get new ones. Oh, they look huge. Okay, there's even stuff on the inside of the boot. Ah. Okay. Okay. There we go. And they slip on quite nicely. They're quite a lot bigger than what my other ones are. They actually come up quite a bit higher. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to actually adjust. Where's the other part? There we go. Okay, so that's basically what my waders look like. I've got a little pouch here. And what do you guys think? I think for float tubing, Pretty acceptable. They work pretty well. They're pretty flexible. And the main thing is I don't have any water in my in my in my boots and I don't freeze. Okay, so uh, they feel they feel pretty good. Let's 
take these off again. There we go. That's basically what I got. They're the classic snow bees in a khaki color. My others were dark green. So getting to the price of these waders, um, I actually marked the guys down. You know, I actually know them quite well. So I, I really had to squeeze them with the price. Um, they were actually 2699, which is a little high. So I actually uh, pushed them down two grand. So I got a really good deal, I think. You know, leave, leave a comment in the bottom if you guys think I overpaid. Just uh, also another quick update, just uh, because you guys are most probably wondering when I'm gonna be bringing out another fishing video. I'm actually going out fishing tomorrow. I'm actually going out to a dam called Middle Dam. It's out in Benoni. It's actually my first time fishing there. So I'm actually quite new to fishing there. So I can't really tell you guys what to throw and how to throw, but I'm gonna try my best to catch some fish and and show you guys how I caught those those fish. But yeah, I'm I'm really excited to be using my new waders uh, tomorrow. If you guys want to hit the subscribe button, if you guys like this unboxing, um, and um, I'll see you guys on the next episode at Middle Dam, Middle Dam in Benoni.